everyone, today in Integrated Math 2, we're going to go over Chapter 7, Lesson 3. Here are the objectives. Make sure you write them down in your notes. So the definition of inequality. For any real numbers, A and B, A is greater than B if and only if there is a positive number C, such that A is equal to B plus C. So if 5 is equal to 2 plus 3, then 5 is greater than 2, and 5 is greater than 3. So then we have the properties of inequality of real numbers. So comparison property of inequality is if A is less than B, A is equal to B, or A is greater than B. Transitive property is the same idea that we've already been doing without the inequality aspect to it. So remember that middle one here disappears. So A must be less than C. And the addition property of equality is just saying if we add things to both sides, they are still the same. The inequality sign has not flipped. And same thing with the subtraction. So check those out. Then we have the exterior angle inequality. The measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either or its corresponding remote interior angles. So the measure of angle one, this one here, is greater than the measure of angle A. The measure of angle one is also greater than the measure of angle B here because both of these make up this one here. So this one's always going to be greater. It's only one at a, at a time. Angle side relationships in triangles. So if one side of the triangle is longer than another side, then the angle opposite the longer side has a greater measure than the angle opposite the shorter side. So we're saying that I know that xy is 9, and y, z is 7. Well, 9 is greater than 7, which means that this angle, z, is going to be greater than this angle, x, which is opposite across from 7, which is this angle x here. So angle z is greater than angle x. And then the same can be said in the reverse, so like the converse of this idea. Now, if we know the degrees, then we know these line segments, we can say which one's going to be smaller or bigger. Well, 110 is way bigger than 45. So I know that KL is greater than the one opposite this one, JL. And there we go. So let's actually make sense of this. List the angles and sides of the triangle ABC in the order from smallest to largest. Well, we know every single triangle adds up to be 180 degrees. So the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Measure of angle A is 46. Measure of angle B is 74. The measure of angle C, still don't know, 180. 46 plus 74, 120, plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180. Subtract this over to both sides. The measure of angle C is 60 degrees. All right. So if we're looking here, we want to find the smallest side. Well, okay, smallest. Let's do the smallest angles first because that's part of it. Well, our smallest angle is angle A. Then we have angle C. And then we have angle B. Okay, so that's the first part of it. That one's pretty easy. But our new part that we have to add is the sides. Well, this 60 degrees goes with 
AB. 46 degrees goes with BC. And 74 is with AC. So I do know the smallest one would be the one opposite here, so BC. Side BC. Then we have our next one, which would be 46 and 60. So then we have AB, which is the next biggest one. And then we have our biggest side, which is 74 degrees here. Opposite of that is AC. And there we go.